Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping in. I know this is going to be a little bit different than what we're used to. So don't worry, lots of live music, still coming, records, all that stuff. Still going to happen, but I uh, picked this sucker up off Amazon and thought it might be interesting to open it up and do an unboxing video to see what you can get if you order one of these, I guess, budget type dash cams off Amazon. I've had an Amazon dash cam already for about four years but it's a 1080p one. So I've been uh, keeping my eye open for a 4K one. This thing came on sale on a daily deal for, geez, it was regular price. Regular price was uh, $130 and it was half price plus a $15 coupon. So it, they were like giving it away. It came with one day shipping. Um, so yeah, I made the, the leap to try it. I don't know what this brand is, but what the heck. It came shipped in a box, but there was no packing in it, so this box kind of kind of took a took took its hits, I would say. But I think the stuff inside is fine. It's not like this is a collector box. I'm not putting this box up on a shelf. Anyways, let's get moving. Let's see what's in here. Dash cam. And uh, like I said, I've had my dash cam for a while. If you want to see some highlights from my dash cam, take a look on this channel on the on main page. Scroll down and you'll see some dash cam highlights. There's some interesting stuff in there. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. All subscriptions are very, very much appreciated. Uh, so here we got the camera right off top sitting in a nice little tray in a nice little bag. Uh, this is the camera here. So you get uh, a live display of what your camera sees if you want. I assume that turns off. And uh, an adhesion strip. There's the actual lens. Uh, the lens swivels. So you can aim your spot. And then, uh, oh, you see here it says lock and unlock. So once you mount this to your window, I wouldn't mount it directly to the window, by the way. What I like to do is get, you know, a clear screen protector and attach that to the window and then attach this to the screen protector and it sticks just as good. And if you uh, need to take that off later, you just peel the sc uh, screen protector off your windshield. But this has, and if I read this right, unlock. So this comes off. So you can pop this sucker out of your vehicle anytime you want if you're worried about theft or, uh, you know, my main concern with this thing is will it hold up to extreme temperatures sitting in the windshield? The current one I have, uh, like it doesn't have a live, a live screen because it opted to use this space for uh, super, super capacitors, which make it more resilient to uh, high temperatures. Um, we'll see if this one holds up. Again, it's not that much of an investment, so we don't have to worry too much about it in the bag. Uh, get rid of this caddy business here. And let's see what's inside. So this is nice. Look at this. They give you uh, previous dash cams I had. Never included this stuff. You got the adhesive clips if you want to run your wires uh, along the outside. I guess you can use these clips or under your dash to hold the, the wires in, which is nice. And it even includes a, uh, the tool to push it into the thing. What do you call these tools? Uh, a splooger, a, a splunger, a, spo a plu pluge, anyways. It's a tool that you use to push it in there. That's nice, that's nice to give that. You didn't have to do that. And you got your uh, power into your power outlet or cigarette lighter outlet, whatever you want to call it. And uh, what do we got? A mini USB. So I think that's currently what mine uses. So I don't even have to pull this cable. I can just use the old cable, which is nice. And then we have uh, the GPS module. Now the GPS module will keep you honest on any uh, recordings you make because GPS will record your location as well as your your speed. So you got to be careful with that. Some people don't even bother using the GPS unit because they don't want their speed being uh, recorded. But I'm not a speed demon, so it's fine. 
and there's the instructions where it hooks into the camera. So that's nice, and normally that would be an additional cost that would ramp up the cost of your camera, but that's included in there. You know what? With the camera, I see it's got your SD slot there. I don't think this came with an SD card though, so that's one thing you might have to spend a little extra money on. Of course, with my old dash cam, I'll just swap it out. Here's an extra adhesion strip. I think that's that would be for the GPS unit. And you get a bonus one. So that's nice. In case something goes wrong with uh, any of those, you got, because uh, it will, you will mount it wrong and go, oh, geez. So you get an extra 3M adhesion strip which is handy and then this must be to link the GPS to the actual camera no there's already a wire there I don't know the super smaller version of it they give you both options it's great they didn't have to do that and we got an instruction manual this is a robust manual look at that now normally these things would have one sheet of paper right and it uh, would be very difficult to read shall we say but uh, this is this is pretty good give you all kinds of instructions how to make this happen uh, and then all the other languages are in there cool well, let's face it, I'm not gonna read this but very nice, they took the effort to do that. And then we have, what's this, a little thank you, surprise from the manufacturer. Uh, make sure there's no code in here to give away that you guys will steal off me. Okay. Yeah, if you go give them a positive review and uh, on your order number, they'll send you a free accessory here. Well, that's nice. They didn't have to do that. Cool. And something more, a sticker. Dash cam recording, don't mess with my vehicle. Yeah, there's a little, uh, little sticker you can put in your window. I'm not gonna do that, but it's uh, they didn't have to. They still included it for free. So, wow, what a value. I'm curious to see if this thing is gonna actually work. Because like I said, super cheap. Now, if you're to buy a name brand dash cam, like a Garmin or something like that from Best Buy, it's going to be a, at least 200 bucks. Whereas, like I said, I've been using Amazon dash cams for about four years. I did have, I think I went through two immediately that weren't very good, but uh, my third one has been working strong since. It's just... If you can get better resolution, it only helps trying to identify things in your videos like license plates or signage that you're going by. So, that's it. Here we go. So, thanks everyone for checking out uh, this unboxing video. Thanks for being patient with new uh, content arriving on this channel. And it might be a little bit different. But like I said, the stuff you're used to is coming out still, so don't forget to hit hit the subscribe button. Share the video. It all helps. And that's super appreciated, and uh, it goes a long way for the channel. And we'll get back to regular schedule programming very soon on this one. But give this a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me how your experiences with Amazon Dash Cams have been. And uh, I'll try to let you guys know how this operated with uh, some road tests. Anyways, thanks everyone. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. More stuff coming. Promise.